Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash BethRoars, where you can get more exclusive content as well as early access to the Beth Roars podcast, where we've got some amazing, exciting guests. We're going to be announcing them over the next couple of weeks. I hope you're excited as I am because I'm super excited. This lady is a classic and everyone knows the sad story about her life. I don't think I need to give her an introduction. You you know her. Let's have a little listen. It's so funky. And kind of stark, there's not any legato of it. I have no time to regret Kept his dick wet it's just all about the tone and the style with her. There's not much diction, and this is the difference between perhaps musical theatre and pop in that musical theatre is all about telling a story, so you have to hear every single word. Amy is just trying to express an emotion. You feel the emotion instantly with her, and she's using those nuances like fry, loads of scoops, loads of vibrato. Then she's moving from legato to short staccato phrases. It's there's a lot going on in a very short space. We're hissing, oh, safe bay. Hissing with this. Me and my head high. Oh, straight away. I, I will listen to a big swave of this, but she does so much. Like, me. Uh. So she starts on the me and then changes it to an uh, and then puts a little bit of extra breath through so it kind of breaks at the end and becomes emotional. And then help, help, I think it's ah, uh, actually, and, I don't know what the word is, she makes it like super forward placed and nasal, so she goes from a really uh, dull place a lot to a really forward placed vowel. It just punches through. Get on without my guy. She modifies so many vowels into an a uh, guy time. Guy and time are different vowels, but they all end up being an a. Uh. You went back to what you know. What you so far removed from our off that we went through. It's these closing of vowels into something a bit more unusual that is really interesting about her voice and the way that she's like what you really punches it really punches the diction on individual words so you get that emotion that attack and then comes back into this kind of fragile like she doesn't complete the vowel she isn't like me which sounds very polished it's not meant to be polished it's meant to be like oh i'm so fragile i can't even complete this you did something really terrible to me a trouble my eyes are stuck. I go back to black. We only say goodbye with words. I died a hundred times. You go back to her. And I go back to You hear that when she's like, we died a hundred times. And then she kind of pushes into it. I, cry, I died. I think it's died. It's the way that she uses her voice as like an instrument, an expressive instrument. It's so connected to emotions. I've said this before, but it is. It's, it's so good. I go back to us. I love you much. It's not. You love below and I love pop. And life, life 
What is amazing as well is that you've got the guitars here and you've got like a really stark guitar with not much effect on, you've got the bass and that's it and it's just her and sometimes it's messy, the riffs aren't perfect all the time, sometimes she closes the valve, she's doing technically things wrong, I, I don't believe in technical wrong apart from if it's unhealthy and she's singing healthily here but humanity is messy. Humanity isn't perfect. So that is what connects with people. Sometimes being perfect isn't a good thing. We only settle by how it works. I died a hundred times. hundred times. That cry son. That was a good riff. Very slick. You go back to her and I go back to her. I go back to black. She just embodies jazz. I know she's a massive jazz geek, but she embodies the kind of Billie Holiday style of jazz where you just you sing what you feel, you don't keep it the same every time. A lot of pop nowadays is is rehearsed to an inch of its life, but this is very expressive, quite improvised. She has her, her general melody, but she goes all around it. She changes the nuances every time, dependent on how she feels on that day. Black. Black. Oh, he scoops. She's such a good Black. scooper. Black. 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 With that dynamics, the crescendo, very good. Gets me a little bit. You go back to her. I, 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 I. You could tell she's actually angry the way she's like back to her. It's like she's saying that, like she really, really means it. And that's partially what it is. She's connecting her voice to how it would be within those experiences and then just being like, this is how I felt. This is this is actually how I said it at the time. Her writing is also incredible. Really incredible. Wow. I always find it quite emotional watching her now because when you know her whole story and I actually saw her later in her career when she was not in a very good place and she couldn't really sing anymore whereas these performances are just it's the right balance it's before it's tipped over the edge to this really sad place she can still harness those emotions but it's not overtaking her and it's so sad how that happens to so many artists the thing that makes them sounds so beautiful that connects with people is often the thing that is their downfall and I hope that we can find a way for artists to harness that and for ourselves to harness our emotion and and use it in music and creativity without it destroying us like it has destroyed so many of our great artists. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.